Hello, welcome to jQuery Tutorial, Chapter 1, Introduction to jQuery, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about what is jQuery and why should we use jQuery. And before starting with this session, I would like to tell few things like if you are not aware of jQuery, then don't need to worry because in this video series, I am going to cover the complete jQuery related things and also before starting with the jQuery, you should be aware of few things like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So with this, let me jump into the next slide. So here comes what is jQuery. Before understanding like what is jQuery, let me tell you few things like jQuery, it's not a new programming language and also jQuery, it is built on top of JavaScript. So let me understand the definition of jQuery here. jQuery is a fast, small and feature rich JavaScript library included in single .js file. So let me conclude it in very simple manner. Like jQuery, it's not a new programming language. It is just a JavaScript library. Okay. And coming to the second point, jQuery makes a web developer life easy. And how? Because jQuery is having so many built-in functions and using those functions, we can complete our tasks easily and quickly. This is how jQuery is going to make the life of web developer very easy. Okay. And coming to the last point that according to the definition of jQuery.com, keep in mind this jQuery.com, this is the official website of jQuery. Okay. Here they have defined the jQuery as it is a small, fast and feature rich JavaScript library. It makes things like HTML document traversal, manipulation, event handling, animation and Ajax much simpler with an easy to use API that works across a multitude of browsers. This is how they have defined the jQuery in jQuery.com. Okay. And with a combination of versatility and extensibility, jQuery it has changed the way that millions of people write the JavaScript. Okay. And what we learned here in this um, slide here is what is jQuery and also uh, we understood like jQuery is not a programming language, it's not a new programming language and it is just a Java, uh, JavaScript library. Okay. And also we learned the definition of jQuery defined in jQuery.com. Okay. And the next question it's our mind is like if you are knowing JavaScript or if you are aware of JavaScript then what is the necessity of learning jQuery? So let me discuss the features of jQuery which gives you a brief note on using jQuery over the raw JavaScript. Okay, I promise you at the end of this session or once I complete these features, you will be aware like why should I use jQuery instead of the raw JavaScript. So let me explain you the features present here of jQuery. The first feature is DOM selection, DOM manipulation, special effects, events, Ajax and cross browser support. And these are the main and important features of jQuery. So let me explain them individually. Okay, DOM selection. So uh, suppose if I want to select an HTML element on my uh, web page or in my HTML page, how can I select? In the JavaScript, we learned like how to select an element. We can select an element by tag name, ID, class name, etc. But how can we achieve the same thing in jQuery? Okay, jQuery is going to provide us selectors to retrieve the DOM element based on different criteria like tag name, ID, CSS class name, attribute name, value, nth child in an hierarchy. This is how the jQuery is going to help us. It's going to provide us the selectors and using those selectors, we are going to identify the element based on whether we want to identify the element by tag name, ID, CSS class name, or by the attribute name, or the value, or the nth child in an hierarchy. This is how uh, the jQuery is going to help us uh, in identifying the DOM element. Okay, th th that is the first feature of jQuery that is DOM selection. And coming to the DOM manipulation, suppose if I want to edit the content in my HTML page or if I want to add or remove the elements on my HTML page or if I want to add a new class to my HTML element, CSS class to my HTML element, then how can I achieve that? I can achieve that with the help of some built-in jQuery functions. Okay, Using those built-in jQuery functions, I can add on the remove an element or I can modify the HTML content or I can add a CSS class to my HTML element. Okay, this is what the DOM manipulation is and jQuery is going to help um, by providing some of the built-in functions where we can achieve these functionalities like adding or removing elements, modifying the content on HTML page, etc. That's what the second feature that is DOM manipulation. Okay, and coming to the special effects, suppose if you want to um, 
push some uh, special effects to your web page like if you want to fade in or fade out or if you want to show or hide an HTML element or if you want to provide a sliding effect in your web page or if you want to do animations then how jQuery is going to help us jQuery is going to provide us some built-in functions and using those functions we can achieve the special effects okay this is what the third feature of jQuery that is special effects okay and coming to the event okay what do you mean by event it's something like uh, I click on a button and immediately uh, some event happens like you can uh, suppose when I click on the button the background color of the web page changes okay that's what the event is okay and how we can achieve that type of event in jQuery okay jQuery it provides some functions which are equivalent to DOM events like click double click mouse enter mouse leave blur key up key down etc okay this is what the event is okay it's, it's something like uh, listening like to what a user does and it react accordingly okay this is what the jQuery events are it is having some of the functions okay event functions and using those functions it, we can achieve the DOM events like click double click mouse enter mouse leave etc this is what the other feature of jQuery that is events okay and here comes the Ajax so jQuery also includes easy to use Ajax functions to load data from servers without reloading the whole page okay let me give you an example like suppose in my web page I have a do element okay and below that I have a button now on click of the button okay uh, I need to load a list of students inside the due but the condition is I should not reload the entire web page only that part of the due element has to get uh, refreshed okay on the click of the button then how can I achieve that functionality I can achieve that functionality with the help of Ajax so jQuery is going to provide us some of the Ajax functions where we can load the data from servers without reloading the whole page it is something like we talk over the network and fetch the new content without reloading the entire web page okay this is what the feature of Ajax is and it's a very important feature and the most important feature of jQuery is cross-browser support keep in mind like um, whenever we write JavaScript using jQuery we don't need to worry about whether this JavaScript what we wrote using jQuery is going to work either in Chrome Firefox Internet Explorer Opera or Safari why because jQuery is going to take care about that okay uh, in the sense it's going to solve all the cross-browser compatibility issues in a sense jQuery library automatically handles cross browser issues so that user don't need to worry about it and keep in mind jQuery supports Internet Explorer 6.0 and above Firefox version 2.0 and above Safari 3.0 and above Chrome and Opera 9.0 and above and this is also the most important feature of jQuery that is cross browser support and what we learned from this session is we learned some of the major features of jQuery and these features make the jQuery special okay it's very important to understand them very clearly okay I hope now you understood like why we have to use jQuery instead of using the raw JavaScript okay and that's for the day and guys thank you for listening okay thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel and training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for the reference refer websites we are on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.